are here today to launch the Where Are the Wells campaign. We had done something similar in 1997, but we need an update. The Where Are the Wells campaign is basically seeking the public's assistance to try and locate some of the wells that we, the BWA, are not aware of. We are standing next to uh, an abstraction well, groundwater well, which is used by the NCC. There are several wells like this across the country. But this campaign is not limiting itself to just abstraction wells. These are abstraction wells are the wells that you use to pump water from the ground. We are also looking to identify drainage wells. Drainage wells will, are used to drain the water from the lands and generally they will have a hole on the side to allow the water to flow into the well and they actually help us replenish the aquifer. Now there are a number of drainage wells that have been, haven't been cleaned for years. We need to do an update and try and get those wells properly maintained so that we could recharge the aquifer. With what is projected as climate change impacts, our rainfall is going to reduce, as well as uh, the recharge is going to reduce. So we have to get, try and get as much water into the ground as possible. Additionally, one of the reasons we want to know where all the wells are, especially water abstraction wells, is the fact that we have a bank account, which is the aquifer. We know how much we are putting in from the rain. We, know, we need to know how much we are taking out. And we could only know how much we are taking out by knowing every individual that is pumping and how much they are pumping. If we don't do that, we can't balance the account. So it is very important that we know who is abstracting water. Additionally, when you have a drought, we need to reduce the amount that we are pumping so that we don't bring in salt. And that is, can only be done by knowing who is pumping and managing how much each one of them is abstracting. We have decided to do this campaign, one, because we see the need to improve the management of the water resources. We see the projected impacts of climate change are going to reduce the amount of rainfall and they're going to reduce the amount of groundwater re recharge because as you, have, you might have noticed, the type of rainfall that we are getting now is short, intense storms. When you get short, intense storms, it is difficult for most of that water to infiltrate. So the ground is going to get saturated very quickly and that water will run on the surface. So it is, if it's running on the surface, the best way to catch it and inject it into the ground is through the use of drainage wells. So again, maintaining and ensuring that we have a large number of drainage wells to help us replenish the aquifer is very critical. And with the reduced rainfall, the resource that will be available will also be reduced. Right now, when we look at the numbers of what the BWA abstracts and what we have licensed out based on the, the licensed wells, we are using up close to 98% of our groundwater resources. At the moment, the BWA is, ab is abstracting about 36 million gallons a day. Private abstractors are licensed to abstract ab about 8 million gallons a day. And we know that they, don't, they will not necessarily stick to the limits depending on how the well performs. If the well underperforms, they may be abstracting less than their license. If the well performs well, they can abstract more. So 
we, we estimate that the private obstructions could be as high as 12 uh, uh, million uh, gallons a day. So you are obstructing about, that amounts to about what? 48 uh, million gallons a day. So that tells you, and we have about, in an average rent for year, we have about 50, 52, 54 uh, million gallons a day that we could obstruct. 